Hello guys and welcome to the Pickle Card channel. So today I want to take a look into the month of October, what's coming into the area of finances and a career area. Uh, so we have four decks. Uh, choose the deck you feel drawn to. Um, try to fill it with your gut, uh, which deck is the most uh, attractive to you. Uh, okay, so let's start with deck number one. Okay. Let's see. Okay guys, so I think for the month of October um, you'll start working something or you'll continue with something that's, uh, that will be quite easy for you to do. Uh, it's something that you feel a lot of passion for. Um, if not, it's advised that you follow that passion because I feel that in the past, uh, this is something you wanted to do a long time, okay? But uh, I see here in the past that you kind of suppressed it or you didn't follow it or um, you had like doubts, um, should, you do, should you do this kind of business or not? Um, so the message here for you guys is to follow your passion in October, okay? Uh, I also see that you kind of are clearing your doubts you had so this will finally allow you to uh, start taking this new journey you're offered um, okay so I really think that uh, if you start this new thing that's offered, uh, it's like on the one side you will lose something that could be like stability or feeling safe in the current job position where you're at, uh, but this will bring you uh, some kind of renewal of your emotions. You would feel a lot better. Uh, you would start moving it to another direction, okay? This would be something new for you, something uh, like refreshing, um, with more passion. But um, of course, if you want to start something new, we'll have to lose something old. And that could be scary at times. So uh, the real message here is not to try uh, to have so much control over it, okay? Uh, because the more you will have to try control or go into the panic more mode or trying to control everything you it will just make you feel mo more anxious you know uh, so try just try to breathe and relax and work on your trust and focus on what is it that you're passionate about because the message here is that you will succeed by working something that's your passion. Um, this could be everything connected with uh, like family, like travel. Um, maybe you will, the work you are working will be connected with some kind of traveling. Uh, it could be a travel agency. It could do something with uh, life cycles uh, or something like family business, you know. Um, but it's something you need to follow. That's the message here. Uh, also again, the message, the second message here from the other cards are, uh, the outcome of this would be, uh, some work connected with movement. Okay. 
So again, it could be something to do with travels or the work that feels like more um, where there is a lot of movement, a lot of things going on. Uh, type of work where um, today is different than yesterday, you know, and tomorrow it will be different day, something different always. Uh, and I, it's not like a boring job where you, you know, just do the same thing all over again. Um, so guys, if you were if you were drawn to the deck number one, um, oh, another thing. Uh, I think um, what was really causing you to not uh, pursue this new work or new job um, I think when the opportunity appears you start uh, doubting you know you start uh, asking yourself a lot of questions um, what if this go wrong how will do this you know just a million questions that um, and basically you yourself uh, are the cause that you lose faith and you lose like um, you lose this uh, how to say enthusiasm to start something so really try to push this aside and just go for it okay uh, also have in mind that when you start something from your heart uh, when you work on your passion you will be able to go on like 12 hours a day without a problem because it will be something that uh, it's your passion and something that you will not uh, look as a job but it will be more pursuing your passion so the advice here for October you will have the opportunity to really start uh, something in this direction okay uh, so really really go for it uh, accept the doubts you have but realize it's just in your head the doubts try to push them aside okay um, just another card oh uh, really nice card actually the outcome of this if you will have the guts to go it to go after it uh, you will feel a lot more balanced uh, this card is talking about balance um, rebirth um, just basic balance you know having the having the how to say satisfaction from the work you do because work should be satisfaction because you're there most of the day um, so really go for it okay you have in the October the doors are open for you Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, let's move on with another deck. I'm actually, actually also uh, faced with something similar here this October. That's why I'm making these videos. Um, I'm trying not to listen to my doubts, my fears, uh, because talking on the camera for me is something really like uh, not natural. Um, I was not born for it, so. <laughs> but it's something that I like doing. I like cards. I like uh, doing readings. And of course, also a lot of times uh, there are a million questions in my head, so I also try to push it away, okay? And I hope you can do that too. Okay, so let's take a look for number two. so I feel that in the month of September or maybe sooner um, I think you got some help from somebody or somebody was trying to uh, push you to do something or just supported you to start uh, a career path that that 
it's quite good for you, but I think you kind of um, kind of passed or maybe you didn't uh, invest the work needed. Um, I think the message here is that you will be ha you will have to be the one that invests the energy into it, of course. Uh, what I wanted to say, you will be the one that will have to um, find the motivation to do the work, okay? Um, this is also something that you will have to go solo into it. So this could be some kind of, um, basically the job where you work alone, uh, where you are the owner, where you uh, decide what to do, how to do it. Uh, but the message here really is stop, uh, start working at it, okay? Uh, no more excuses, uh, go for it. I think you were really, uh, you're basically, your nature is more uh, just to go with the flow, but this time in October, you will have to invest the work. Uh, it's also possible that uh, Uh, it's maybe also that you feel lost uh, in the new position and you would uh, really need some kind of support from somebody as we see here and here um, this is also could be talking about that you feel alone uh, in this job or in this position and you're kind of lost so but again in the near future uh, in the october there is uh, help available to you this could be somebody that already offered you help um, or this could be a new person but uh, they really want you to start working to start uh, taking the initiative okay uh, by taking the initiative there will be somebody joining you uh, this could be some kind of partner business partner or maybe also your partner uh, like love partner uh, or some kind or friends you know but somebody will be joining you um, but the message here is really really be proactive you will be you will have to be the one who stands up and start making the moves okay uh, you have everything you need for that the only thing that's missing here is the movement uh, you taking the action uh, I don't know why it is, but maybe you always need somebody to push you around a little bit, you know? <laughs> uh, well, in, that, in this case, in October, uh, you will have to be the one who will push you. And I really uh, suggest that you do that because in case you do, you succeed, um, you could create quite a nice group of um, customers or there is some kind of group group that will come out of this so this could be uh, for you a lot of new clients or a lot of new markets that you could work on okay uh, so basically guys it's really simple here the message take initiative uh, step by step okay and by relying on yourself uh, the other stuff will kind of fall into place and uh, it really has a potential uh, to be really lucrative so it could bring you a lot of money so really 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 go for it okay uh, okay this is it for number two let's go to number three Okay, so the feeling for you guys, I need, I think, um, 
So let's try not to burn the cards. <laughs> okay. I think you guys in October should take a time to uh, recuperate, to rest, uh, to take care of yourself um, and stop being a slave. Stop working your ass off and uh, you should really find time to relax, to, to rest and to fill up the batteries, okay? Um, I think you, you started some project or some kind of work uh, that uh, was really good. It, look, it looked uh, good at the beginning, but then you some, uh, somehow fallen into the trap of being used and um, just falling, falling again into the position where uh, you started the work that you enjoyed, but then falling into something that started really um, exhaust you, exhausting you, you know. Uh, one of the cards suggests that you picked this behavior from your mother. Uh, so it's really possi uh, possible that your mother uh, was like this. She, she was always, always a hard worker. Um, she basically dedicated her life to work and uh, you know, to bringing the money into the family, uh, taking care of you guys and, of course, um, all the family. Uh, also feel that you should kind of recognize the behavior. Uh, because this is talking about repeating the patterns, you know. Also, it's talking about that you should you should realize that you don't have to you don't have to be that slave that works uh, overtime that works. Uh, it's basically the how do you say? Uh, it's a uh, it's based on your beliefs. Okay, uh, as you try to change your beliefs, uh, not try. When you change your beliefs, also the reality will change, okay? But first, try to recognize uh, where are you repeating the same situation as your mother did. Of course, um, this is also possible with the, with the families where uh, you were the only... I mean, you were growing up only with your mother, so... It could mean that she was working like two jobs, you know, trying to support uh, financially. But yeah, basically here the message for October is uh, try, to, try to work on these beliefs you have. Uh, try to recognize what kind of beliefs uh, you should change in order to change the the situation here. Um, but basically, everything here is talking about uh, relax, take it easy, okay? There will be also somebody who will really help you here. This could also be your partner, um, your lover, uh, but basically there is some person that's offering your help. Uh, his help or her help. Also, I think in October, you will be more at the end of the October, you will be presented with a new uh, new offer for work. And if you manage to change your beliefs um, in this time, it will bring you more finance, it will bring you more satisfaction and it could really surprise you in the way uh, that you finally get something that you wanted, you know? Like the conditions of the work that you wanted or you felt you deserved but you just never got it, you know? Uh, also financially, um, you could end up seeing that actually you can get paid as you deserve. 
so yeah, really, I really recommend you to take this time in October to just relax and start more um, going deep in your side uh, and trying to figure out what's uh, what is what is it that I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is it for number three. Thank you. Okay, so what we have here is a bit similar than in group uh, number three. Uh, it's time in October. In October, you should really start um, working on relaxing yourself. Um, I think you're somebody really, really talented, uh, really artistic and you have a certain mission in your life, okay? Uh, I don't know if you already found it, but I guess you did. Um, you're somebody creative. You're somebody who knows how to um, put out the message, the important messages. You are somebody who, uh, this could also be somebody who works with uh, spiritual, spiritual um, works like maybe card reader, tarot reader, um, psychics, um, everything connected to that. Also, uh, maybe some therapists, uh, writers, you know. Uh, and you are, you are really talented, okay, but you need practice. Uh, you should really start um, As I said, you should start to practice your uh, your skill that you have because you're not quite there yet, okay? Uh, by practicing, by uh, exploring, by teaching new skills connected with your passion, uh, with your skill, with your hobby that you have, um, it will bring you a lot um, a lot new opportunities in October. Uh, I also see that this is something you already started, but you kind of uh, stopped. So it is possible that you really know or feel that you're talented in this direction, but uh, there is some something blocking you. And I think that um, for one, you should st stop uh, comparing yourself with others. Um, it's really good that you strive to be a master of your um, your skill that you do, uh, but it's also important not to compare yourself with a master when you are only at the beginning or maybe the middle, you know? Uh, so just try to Try to work on practicing. That's the biggest message here for October, okay? Um, you're also, I would say you're really intuitive and you can connect really uh, easy uh, with different kinds of people. Um, I think this is somebody who is loved by really fast by others. Um, I don't know how, but this skill that you have 
to be really lovable. Uh, this will help you on your journey to the get to get um, to start doing what you do. Okay. Uh, so the basic message here is practice, practice, and practice. Learn new skills that you that you feel that you are missing. Uh, because all of this will help you to find um, the right path, okay? Uh, if you go into this, I think it will be really, really successful for you guys. So try to... Don't give up, basically, okay? Work and teach. Learn, learn, basically. And I think you guys, uh, you doubt yourself that you are good at what you do, uh, but you are good, you're really good, you're really talented, and you have the basic skills to be the master of it. So go for it and practice. Okay, that's the basic message here for number four. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, like, share, subscribe, whatever. Uh, <laughs> thank you and see you next time. Bye.